In this video, we're going to create a second table. We've created a table for our customers. Next, we're going to create a table for our vendors. So let's go to the Create menu. Click on the button called Table. And let's do a right click on the tab Table 1 and save the table. This time we're going to call this Vendors Table. So these are going to be all the people that sell things to our business so that we can resell them to our customers. Inside our Table tab we're going to change to Design View and now let's add a few fields for our vendors. First of all, let's rename this ID as Vendor ID. And now our vendors are going to have a few information fields. All of these will use a short text. After you've entered your field names, let's save our table. Next, let's enter into the data sheet view and we can enter some information about who these people are, who sells to us so that we can sell to others. So you can see that I've typed in six different vendors. I'm going to be a company that actually sells video games and computer equipment. So I'm using Apple and Amazon as some of my people that are making things so that I can resell them to my customers. Let's right click on the tab that says the title and save. Let's close this. And now I'm going to create a form. So let's go back to the create button. Since customers is selected, I want to select the other table, vendors then click on the form button and you will see it creates the vendors table this actually is something I want to create is called the vendors form so let's save it and instead of vendors table let's call it vendors form remember that when you do form view you can enter in data you can browse through each of the records and so data sheet view and form view are the same way to see your data but with different front ends. So this will do it for our, our second video here on creating our application to run our business.